Hello again, my friends. How are you today? Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This week, we continue our studies from the book of Luke, specifically Luke 18, where we hear the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Either after or before you listen to the lesson, I'd like to you to challenge yourself to examine yourself. Reread the parable again if you need to. Which character are you in the story? I am certain that at different times in my life, I have been, been, I have been both of these men. Have you found that this podcast is great for you, but you really need a personal connection? Are you sick of the podcast and you just want to talk about God with a real person? Maybe you should consider putting some faces with the other listeners and speakers from this medium. If you're semi-local to northern Minnesota, there are a couple of frequent, no-reservation-needed, come-as-you-are opportunities that, that are out there for you. Of course, you can always come to church at 8 and 10.30 on Sundays, but you could also join us for men's Bible study every Tuesday morning at the Country Kitchen at Bemidji at 8 a.m. Or you could go to our women's Bible study every Wednesday at 12 p.m. at our church building, 2220 Ann Street in Bemidji. If you're nowhere near us, I can't encourage you strongly enough to go out and find a Bible-based church to participate in their studies, adventures, and worship services. And now for a little shameless promotion. The best way for God's Word to spread is through His people, mouth to mouth, letter to mind. Who am I to reinvent the wheel, especially when God made it up? If you or someone you know could benefit from a frequent dose of God's Word in this format, consider sharing it with them. We're easy enough to find on podcastindex.org or Google Podcast or Apple Podcast. All you have to do is type in St. Mark Bemidji in the search bar. And if you're so inclined, maybe you want to hit the subscribe button on your podcast app so you don't have to look us up every day. This podcast is published four times weekly. Three times during the week, we feature a short devotional. And on Sunday, we replay a Sunday sermon from our church or on occasion from another of our Sister Wells churches. I hope you'll join us. During our daily devotions, we are currently going through our daily prayer series on the Gospels and the Book of Acts. Each day, we take a quick but thoughtful dive into a verse or two from one of these five potent accounts or from the early church ministry. So stop trying to figure out why Australians like to eat Vegemite sandwiches, and let us ponder the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector from Luke chapter 18, my text. And Jesus also told this parable to some people who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and viewed others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and was praying this to himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, swindlers, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing some distance away, was even unwilling to lift up his eyes to heaven, but was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. In the name of Jesus, amen. Where will you sit in church? Somewhere you can see clearly what's going on? Somewhere you won't bother someone else? Someplace where you can hear? And what do you hear? Christ Jesus, and what he did for you. What? For me, Pharisee of Pharisees, God did this for me? You and I are justified, righteous before God, not by our own strength or our own works. Why, I, I couldn't merit anything before God or expect anything from him except the worst, because I couldn't live up. I didn't measure up. I never measured up no matter how hard I tried. And even when I thought I had done pretty good, I, I couldn't be sure, because I really didn't even trust what I had done, that it was anywhere near good enough. And then when I found out from the law of God, where God tells me what to do and not to do and how my heart should always be, well, I knew I didn't have a prayer, not on my own. Perhaps I'd better be quiet. 
and take a seat in the back someplace, somewhere around that tax collector publican fella, before I make a bigger fool of myself, and just quietly pray that God would have mercy upon me, a poor sinful being, because for sure I can't help myself. Where will you sit in church? Some place where you can hear? And what do you hear? Christ Jesus and what he did for you. How he bled and died to take away your sin. How he rose again from the dead that we might have eternal life in him and with him forever. Maybe I ought not be looking around anymore, pointing the finger at anyone else or talking about anybody else anymore. It isn't there for the but for the grace of God go I. It is, there I go, there I am. Maybe I only ought to be looking at my Jesus and forgive as God in Christ has forgiven me and you, Jesus, who is the propitiation for all our sins, but not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. In the name of Jesus, amen. That's all there is for today, but we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Monday through Friday, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week, at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website at www.stmarksbemidji.org. 